Hey guys, Thoughts Collect here with uh, Skyrim. We're going to continue on. Do, 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 do. my sneak go up because of that. Whatever. <laughs> Brother. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. <clears throat> Go on now. Is so fucking weird. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> Well, you eat your fellow, fellow. We're yeah, both werewolves, man. Plus, don't even use the form now. Please, not now. No more when I'm ready to discuss the issue. Killing a dragon right there. I thought you were like over there or something.
between two dragons is actually a deadly verbal debate. Need something? Apparently. Have we been here before? I think we have, I just don't remember this area. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on. Don't be shy. Split room for everyone. Looks like we have to do some traveling. <laughs> Barely traveled in this area. Well, this area? Yeah, definitely this area and this area. Oh wow, that's so close to the Dark Brother. What's that noise? That was weird. I hope I'm going the right way. I was looking at the wrong marker.
Hearn and I do so adore, guest. <laughs> These guards are such a bore. A guest? Oh my. Other people just make things complex. Out here, Hearn and I can get everything we need from the occasional traveler. <laughs> from occasional traveler. We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. We supply Falkreath to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Falkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Until next time. Why don't you stay while? Well now, what have we here? A lost little lamb. Well then, you won't be leaving here alive. Come on. Hey, you take this stuff. Dear Vimper. guy or something but sometimes he explodes mostly taller taller whoever zombies that's when call them zombies uh explode like that yeah. where did you go Okay, I got both quests done. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? I got a quest to train, two quests to train anyways. I'm not sure if we're talking It's been about quite this. a boon, looking like a child. The man you need to speak with, his name is Motier. That's a very old and powerful Breton family, firmly established in Sierra Del. Most curious. 
Have a good contract. Please tell me. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Hmm. Which way would be the best way to get there? We could go here, but... Or we could go here. Oh, let's just go here. This cow is on Brahmin. Two heads. There's a lot of big distance when just from pure running.
I keep hearing this. I don't know why it does that. It only does it when I have my mic on, if you're wondering. There's the hum too, if I touch my computer. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars are finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these to your... Uh, superior. Rexus? The items. Looks like an imperial soldier. Rexus will now give yeah. you two items, which will... The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is there something else you need? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. You must deliver those items to your superior. And I... I must get out of this foul place. I have vowed to serve Armand Motier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Let's see if we can actually read that. Well, I already know Calm.
Nothing for me. You're back. Good. All right, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Mifton. He works Give with me the Mallory. letter. <coughs> Bring Mallory the amulet. He's killed. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Hmm. Let's see what this is about this amulet. Oh, wait, it'll probably be in peril. Or not. I don't know. Well, we're going to continue on in the next episode. See you guys later.